Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is the first P.O. Box unboxing of 2022. I have here everything I got in my P.O. Box up to the end of last month, so I'm going to open all of this and we'll see what everybody sent in. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. We used to do these every month, but I'd like to get back to it. I'm going to put the P.O. Box address on the screen right now. If you'd like to send something in, maybe something to help me with a review, or just anything you feel like, send it to that address. I will open it on camera in one of these unboxing videos. I will show my appreciation for what you sent in uh, and will show everyone uh, what we got. As usual, I have cut the boxes and one envelope open, but I have not looked inside, so we will all be surprised at what's here. Let's start with this letter, and I do have my Professor Grandpa glasses to read it. This is from Brandon Knight. Brandon's a longtime supporter of the channel. We very much appreciate Brandon. Uh, and let's see what Brandon sent here. Uh, this is a card. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing too personal inside. I don't want to give anyone's personal uh, information. Uh, so let me read through this real quick. This does have a little bit of personal information, so I, I won't read it word for word, but I will say uh, congratulations, Brandon, first of all. I hope that is still working out for you. And thank you very much for your long support of the channel. Thank you for thinking of me. Also, I want to remind everyone that if you include a letter or any writing with uh, whatever you send in, I do have a folder that I keep all of those in, and I do keep those forever. None of those get thrown away. Now, Brandon sent this. And Brandon also sent this, so this is from the same person, uh, and I'm going to check this out. Let's see what Brandon sent in addition to the letter. And we have some bubble wrap. I can always use more bubble wrap, very useful. And we have um, what looks like another envelope. Let's, um, this, this is, um, this is a cute one. It has a, a little puppy dog that says, uh, miss you so much. Let me uh, see. Okay, there is some more writing on the inside. Again, I will read this to myself before I read it on the air. I don't want to divulge anyone's personal information. Uh, so let me read this for a moment and uh, then we'll move on and see what's in the box. There's a little bit of personal information in here, not too bad, but uh, I will say, Brandon, congratulations on completing 1984 Storm Shadow and 1985 uh, Snake Eyes and 1983 Scarlet. Well done. I hope the job is going well. Uh, and you mentioned here the possibility of meeting at a G.I. Joe convention. That is also something that I'm trying to do this year. Uh, in fact, I would like to go to Joe Fest in Augusta, Georgia this year. Uh, to do that, I need your help. I do have a, a GoFundMe for that. I will include the link for that here as well. Inside the box we have, I can see right away, we have some Valor versus Venom. Some valid Valor versus Venom cards. Uh, it looks like uh, Duke and Cobra Commander. Uh, and inside, it looks like we have Duke and Cobra Commander. Now, I, I've got to admit, this is new to me. This is a bit of a blind spot in my uh, collecting. Um, I don't think I have any Valor versus Venom. I try to focus on vintage G.I. Joe. I've got some modern figures like 25th anniversary and up. But this is fascinating to me because I don't really know very much about it. So thank you, Brandon. This is an opportunity uh, for me to explore a bit of G.I. Joe that I am less familiar with. So that's two cards from Brandon that I will keep forever. I may be buried with them, I don't know. Uh, so let's move to the next one. And this one is from uh, Marcus R. Sweeney. This is Ryan Sweeney, right? If I recall your name correctly. Um, so Mr. Sweeney sends this and I am opening the box for it right now. And inside the box, there are, I can tell this is a uh, classified item. G.I. Joe classified series. And number one, we have Awesome. We have the Special Mission Cobra Island uh, Beachhead. This guy, all of these uh, Cobra Island set G.I. Joe classified figures were exclusive to Target and a, a real pain to find at the time they were released. They were so difficult to find that I really did not have very much fun searching for them. So the fact that somebody was thoughtful enough to send one 
means that somebody did go through the trouble of searching for one of these and actually picked one up uh, and sent it to me. So that is so awesome. Thank you very much. And we've got one more. And this one is... Yeah. This one. This is a beaut. This is Zartan. This is a great figure. This is a really nice figure. Um, I love it. And I'm a fan of Zartan going all the way back to 1984. Uh, so these are beautiful. Uh, thank you very much, Ryan. And thank you for your long support. It's been noticed and very much appreciated. This one is from the same person. This is also from... So we're doubling up here. We got two from Brandon and we got two from Ryan. Uh, and we have a letter. We have a letter from Ryan. It says, uh, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Nice G.I. Joe logo there. Beautiful. Cool sticker. That's really awesome. Uh, now, as with Brandon's uh, letter, his card, I will read through this real quick. Make sure there isn't any personal information on here before reading it out loud. Thank you, Ryan, for this letter. It doesn't really have personal information, but it does spoil what's in the box, and, and I want you guys to be surprised. I, I know what it is now. So uh, thank you, Ryan. Uh, thank you for, for this, and thank you again for your long support. You've been around for a long time, and uh, I, I really appreciate you being here. So uh, thank you for that, and thank you for this. I'm going to apparently fling this across the room, and you're going to love this. It, yes, it is another classified item, but it's, it's, it's a beaut. Look at this. Yeah, that, that is Snake Eyes with Timber. What are we calling this? The Snake Eyes and Timber Alpha Commandos. Uh, this is one that I was wanting to get my hands on. I'm very curious how well they did Timber. Looks like we have two uh, heads for the wolf and lots of weapons for Snake Eyes, including his signature Uzi submachine gun. Really nice. Really nice. I am very eager to open this up and take a close look at it. I'm not going to open it up yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to savor this. Uh, but thank you so much, Ryan, and, and thank you for just being you, and thank you for being here. I am going to go with this one next, and oh, I, I apparently didn't cut this one. The one I forgot to cut. Let's, uh, let's carefully cut into that and try not to cut whatever is inside. This is a heavy box. This one is from James Thompson. Thank you very much, James. There we go. All right. And inside the box we have a brief letter let me uh again uh, read through this real quick okay no personal information and uh no real spoilers in here uh so i'll just say uh i'll read this aloud it says uh, acc 788 first welcome back second i wanted to send these to you when you said you were going through issues hope you uh hope they cheer you up um last god bless merry christmas happy new year james thompson um p.s a few issues are uh, missing. Sorry. Well, it's fine. You, do, you don't have to apologize for anything. You, you're sending me stuff. I, I'm extremely grateful for, you know, everything that you do. And I can tell, and this is why it was heavy, is it's comic books. It's comic books. Ooh, look at this. Okay. Not only is this comic books, this is, this is the IDW G.I. Joe series. Um, I have, I think pretty much, uh, a complete run of the Marvel Comics G.I. Joe series, but I had not anywhere close to caught up with the IDW series. And uh, these, are, these, are, these are the 260s, and yeah, there's more. Oh, there's like huge stacks of them. Hold on. Um, I don't want to mess these up. Yeah. Silent Option... Uh, looks like a four-issue miniseries, and I'm going to slide this out of the way, and we've got another bag that seems to have more in them. This is exciting. This is exciting. This is exactly why I should be wearing my, my Professor Grandpa glasses, so I can actually see and read what's, uh, what's on these covers. Oh, nice, 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 nice. This is, that's a really cool cover uh, for issue number 273. Nice team shot there. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. So these are in the 270s. 
I, I don't know if you know, you might know, uh, the G.I. Joe Marvel Comics series ended on uh, issue number 155, but Larry Hama, the writer, picked up that series again and has been doing it for ID, IDW. And the, the, here are the early 200s, uh, some more early 200s, and some 220s, 230s, 240s. Uh, yeah, I'm, um, I understand maybe there are some issues missing, but holy moly. You know what this means? It, it means... Let me move this. It means I have some reading to do. Uh, I am I am not familiar. I am not caught up at all with the IDW series. And one of the reasons uh, that I hadn't got it caught up is, for one thing, some of the comics are, are difficult to find locally. And, you know, ordering them would be uh, expensive. But here we go. It, it may not be the complete series, but it's a whole lot more complete than I had. So, uh, James, all I can say is... My deepest thanks for these. I, I will be reading these a lot. I want to get caught up. I want to get caught up on all on, on the fun. I want to get caught up on the party that everybody else has been having without me because I didn't have the issues. Well, now I got issues. Thank you very much, James. And the last box is for another longtime supporter of the channel and friend, Byron Kellogg. And thank you for this, Byron. Uh, Byron, you've already done so much for me. So the fact that you thought about me and sent something to me, uh, I'm just very grateful. So thank you very much. And I hope things are going well with you. I sincerely do. Um, but let's see what Byron sent. I did have to kind of cut around it. The tape goes around. So this part comes off. Uh, so let's open this up. And I can tell by looking at this that it is a classified uh, series thing. And oh, I know what it is. Yes, let me make sure that's clear. And it is this beauty. Breaker and the Ram Motorcycle. I love this. This is a cool thing. Can you believe that we are getting breaker and a ram motorcycle in the six inch scale how crazy is that what kind of crazy world do we live in uh this is awesome and thank you byron but not only thank you for this thank you for your long support and thank you for being a friend it's been a very difficult year uh but you helped you helped a lot and this is just um this i'm gonna keep this I'm going to keep it sealed. This is not something that I'm going to open. Uh, it's just too special. So uh, thank you very much, and um, thanks for all you do. That's everything. Thank you so much, everyone who sent stuff in. This is overwhelming. Uh, we haven't done this for quite a while, but uh, I, I love this, and I, I deeply appreciate it. Nobody has to send anything in. The fact that people think of me and actually you know, send stuff in, that's extremely thoughtful. Uh, I am not in a position right now to purchase new uh, vintage figures and vehicles. I just can't do it right now. Uh, fortunately, I have quite a few that I still have to review. So we've got, we've got plenty. But I can't bring anything else in right now. So the fact that you guys are helping, this is helping in a really tangible way. This is helping in a way that seriously helps the channel. And it, it just, I can only be grateful. Uh, I, I thank you all so much. If you would like to send something in to be in a video like this, I will put the P.O. Box address on the screen again right now. That's the address to send it to. And I will check again at the end of this month, which is January 2022. And anything that I get in before the end of this month, uh, I will put it in another video like this at the beginning of next month. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter and I have a website, hcc788.com. I also have a Patreon. You should see the names of the patrons on the screen probably right about now. Uh, I'm very grateful to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. I, I literally could not get by without it. You are keeping me going and you are keeping this channel going. So thank you to all the people on the screen. And if you'd like to be one of those people, just check out Patreon. The link will be in the description of this video. Thanks to all of these people and thanks to all of you people. And I'll be back soon with a vintage or classify G.I. Joe Toy Review very soon. I'll see you then, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.